we have come to one of the highlights, I'm sure, of the wedding. An extravaganza, no less. <laughs> it's much awaited. I can see the nerves on the top table right now. Just look at Josh and Lauren's faces. Little did they know it was about to occur. Oh, God. Well. well, there's only two men that I can think of. Who could deliver this speech? Who would it be, Ray? Who could it be? Well, what do you think of? You know, you, you think of great double acts. You think of like the Chuckle Brothers. You know, you think, you think of Anton Deck. I think there's, there's one double act that, that just goes far and above everything that you could possibly imagine. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the best men, Dan and Sam.
got to our board to see where it lands. <laughs>
point. Stu's rolling video camera. And Nigel's drunk and access the family WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> by now you'll all have seen our better own bedroom led by Gandalf the Groom. <laughs> our locals were in disbelief, but nowhere more so than in Bodrum's Irish bar, where our host was a Mr. Brendan Murray. No. <laughs> Here's what he <laughs> So in walks this guy to the bar, turns out it's Josh, is in with his friends, and in front of us they look the part, they're all dressed up as uh, the hobbits, all dressed in the legs, got the ears, the wigs, the whole lot, except for one guy who walks in with a, a white fedora hat, looks like an arm from down on me, turns out his, way, his name's Ray, what an idiot, he cracked too, so there you go. So lo and behold, the boys came back the next day dressed up as Cruella de Vil and 101 Dalmatians. Uh, each of the boys had a forfeit to do during the night, so they had to kiss old ladies um, like Reed, Leslie and Rita. And uh, Harry, he had to uh, strip his clothes off every time he was in the suit. So uh, we did that quite a few times. It wasn't a pretty sight, but uh, we did not laugh about nothing else. So, uh, oh, and also uh, Ray had to go to the toilets with his knickers in his head as well. That was just punishment for the fedora the night before. So there you go.
There's been so many amazing matches in Ferry. Just to name a few, I can think of a pint in the Great Bear while you're waiting for your Easter night. <laughs> It wasn't until 
later, when Josh turned up, head down into the kitchen, and he said, Lauren, I've got a confession. <laughs> oh boy, what a confession it was. <laughs> Right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got one category left, which means we need a very precise dart thrower. And I know just the man. It's not Harry, but Harry, I think you know what to do. Oh. <laughs> Throw 
went to those wonderful moments that that you could be, because we all know you're going to be such a great mum and dad. To be a best man for two best friends on the same day, honestly, is the honour of a lifetime, and so, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you both every second of happiness in your lifetime together. Please, let's raise a toast to Lauren and Josh. 